Welcome to day 21 on our journey to Calvary. Let me share with you a couple verses out of the book of Ephesians, the second chapter, verse 8 and 9. Listen to these words. For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Can you imagine... Uh, as we're just walking along here, beautiful trail, we're in uh, a place at Rock Hill, South Carolina, Glenican Gardens. Already some beautiful azaleas have already begun to bloom, uh, camellias, and just a lot of just beautiful flowers as, uh, as they come back to life here as we begin spring. Well, how fitting it is that we would uh, see a new, uh, a new growth and uh, uh, things beginning to wake up from winter. And when we begin to think about what Christ, Jesus Christ did for us in coming and giving his life on Calvary, I want you just to pay attention to just a, just a couple things I wanted to point out to you here in these verses. It's grace that saves us, not ourselves. None of us could ever achieve salvation or earn salvation before it's a gift that only God can give to us. And it's got to be because we believe and trust in the Lord, it's by faith, that you and I can receive that precious gift of salvation. It's because of what Jesus Christ has done and what he did on Calvary for us. And, and, and the last part of that verse says, it, it can have nothing to do with us other than uh, our belief and trust, putting our trust and faith in Jesus Christ. And then uh, the last part of that verse 8 says these words. It is a gift from God. Uh, it's a gift. It's not something I can buy. It's not something I can earn. It's not something I deserve. But it's a gift that God himself has provided for us of eternal life through his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. So I want to leave you here this morning with that promise that it's a gift. Salvation is a gift that God has given to us by simply you and I believing and trusting in him. If you do not know him, I pray that this day, before this day closes out, you will open your heart and life life to Jesus Christ, and I'll promise you, he in no wise will cast you out, and he will save you, and you shall live eternally in heaven with him. Pray with me for just a moment, if you would. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that we have of just being together in these beautiful surroundings as we see, Father, everything just waking up and coming to life. Lord, thank you for this day, the beautiful day, the beautiful sunshine, but the beauty of these flowers that are just uh, so gorgeous, Father, that you made that all of us could enjoy. So bless this day and each person that is listening, for we ask it in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning. God bless.